Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, we're talking about what is needed for feedback to work. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. There's lots of advice about giving feedback, tons of tips that you can apply. The problem is that tips are only tactics until we start with the basics. We must understand first why we're even giving feedback. And we're doing it why. The goal of giving feedback is so that the other person will take action on that feedback, right? I mean, aren't we giving people feedback with the intent and the hope that they will do something with it? and take action on it. So before people can take action on the feedback, some other things must happen first. Let's walk through those things before we start talking about how to actually make it work. Here are the four things. It must be heard. Feedback can't be acted on if it's not heard. People actually have to take the words in. They have to notice them and be focused enough to hear the words, of course. Next, it must be understood. One thing to hear it, another thing to get it, to really understand what the sender was sending and understand both the intent and the message behind it. Next, it must be accepted. I can hear your feedback. I can even understand it. Doesn't mean I agree with it, like it, or plan to do anything about it. I can understand it and still be defensive or be unhappy with it or disagree completely. It must be accepted for it to be uh, successful. And lastly, it must, all of those things must happen before it can be applied, right? It must be heard, understood, and accepted before I will take any action on it. So if I want my feedback to work, those other things must be the prelude. So today, I want to talk about making sure you get your feedback heard. There's no way I can make sure that you hear it. But there are some things that I can do to improve the chances that you will. And that's what I want to talk about. I have five pieces of advice that will help you get your feedback heard. The first step in the process. Here we go. First, think about when to give it. If you're working in a loud environment, they may not literally be able to hear you. If there's too many other distractions around you, they may not be able to hear you. Make sure you are giving it at a time when they're able to and willing to receive it or at least actually hear it. Second, where to give it? Well, probably not in public as an example. So you want to think about giving it in a place where distractions will be reduced, where their ego won't be hurt, where you can actually start to get that feedback in and have it be heard by the other person. Third, Don't give feedback until you're ready to give it. Sometimes we're not clear on exactly what we want to say. Sometimes we're too emotional, too upset, too ticked off to give it in a way that will work. I don't know about you, but as a parent, when my children were little, I sometimes gave them feedback that never even got heard because they looked at me like, he's a crazy person. So make sure we're giving feedback when we're ready to give it, when we can be clear, when we can be concise, when we can be kind, when we can be specific, all of those things, right? Next, deliver it from their perspective. You see, as the person giving feedback, as the coach perhaps, our perspective, different from the other person's, is useful and valuable. And yet, in order for the person to hear the feedback, it's got to come through a lens that makes sense to them. So we've got to talk about it from the perspective that matters to them, things that make a difference for them, that they think is important. So make sure that you're delivering feedback from their perspective with their lens. And if you do that, you got a real chance of making it work. Then lastly, make it a conversation. It's got to be a conversation. The more that we make it a conversation, the better chance I have of hearing what you're telling me and it doesn't feel like I'm being lectured. If we're having a dialogue or a conversation, I'm more likely to hear what you're telling me. Listen, if you will do those five things, if you will think about when and where to give it, think about giving that feedback when you're ready, make it a conversation and deliver it from their perspective, the chances that they will hear it go way up. Let me close with today's tweet. Forget about all the feedback tips and tricks. 
until your feedback is heard, it can't be understood, accepted, or applied. If you're listening to me, you might know already about the Remarkable Leadership Podcast, but if you're watching, you might not. Each week, these episodes are simulcast on our podcast, and every week I have an expert leader or a leadership expert join me for a conversation, a sit-down, where we talk about insights and ideas, their story, their experience, how it will apply to you. If you're interested in that, if you're a podcast fan, or even if you're not, the best place to start, you can learn all about it right here, the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. And I'll be back here next week with another episode, and I hope you'll be back too.